The world's strongest coffee. Death Wish Coffee it is a bunch of hype and is it actually substance? We're here to find out. We are all brewed up and ready to go. Before we get tasting, I have a quick question for the professor. Initial impressions of the beans themselves. They were pretty dark actually, and the smell was, it wasn't bad, it wasn't great. It was somewhere in the middle between- Better than expected, right? Be better than expected for sure. So my initial impressions were that this coffee had uh, unnatural amounts of caffeine put into the coffee. You come to f since find that there's actually a different story. And I know that you looked into it as well, that these are entirely different coffee bean altogether. Yeah, not to start a smear campaign against the world's strongest coffee. Right. Trademarked, copyrighted. Registered. Copyrighted, yes. yeah, registered trademark. Registered trademark. Cool. Yes. Pretty sure this is just regular Robusta which is stronger than your average coffee. Right, by about, if not over two times, normal Arabica beans, Robusta is only consumed by about 30% of the world generally in places like Thailand or like in the Scandinavian countries, uh, you know, generally places where it's colder, you need more energy to get through the day. It's more of a bitter coffee, more of a dark coffee. I personally like Robusta, so I have no problem with that, but it's just interesting to find out more about uh, what, what uh, Death Wish Coffee actually is. Perhaps uh, it's not the world's strongest coffee. Perhaps it's the world's strongest bean. marketing. But anyways, we haven't tasted it yet. Yeah. So let us reserve any criticisms for the actual taste because that's what we're here to do on Whole Brain is A little to too late for that. Let us, let us only uh, foment any criticisms right. after the taste. Smell, actually, smell impressions. Pretty good. Yeah, actually. Good. No, this is good. There's a little bit of sweetness, I notice. A little bit of ashiness though too, so I will say that. It's, it's a mixture of both. It's a dark roast. It's a dark roast. It's a dark roasted robust. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Not the best, not the worst. Probably overpriced. Very good, very well marketed. Well, Robusta is generally pricier here in the States, I've noticed. And I, I don't know why that is, if it's just that it's, it's more sourced by the rest of the world or as to why that is. But I've noticed Robusta generally does cost more. Um, this is not bad, I actually will say. Like, it's 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 pretty decent. I wouldn't say that it's it's great or it's, you know, in the upper echelon of the coffee Elysium with all the great coffees that fight there and have mead and things. I'm gonna mix it with mythologies, but anyhow. It's, it's no not- fighting in Elysium. There is, actually. Elysium. The, the, the warriors go to Elysium, which is paradise, and in that paradise- But they don't fight in paradise. Yeah, they do. Do they? I what kind of paradise I is that? I thought so. Anyway, Anyways. mixing up my mythologies here, perhaps, and so some historian's gonna watch this video and be like, that's not great. I wanted to hate this a lot. I really wanted to hate this. But it's not that bad. I don't no. I gotta say, I, it's, maybe my expectations were so low. Actually, this is pretty good, dare I say. There is an ashiness for certain, which not dark necessarily roast. a bad it's thing, a it's a dark roast. roast. There's almost this taste of, it's almost uh, like browned butter, almost. Like almost like a slight caramel with like brown butter. It's, it's just like a little bit there, a little bit bready. It's, it's actually pretty pleasant, it's a little bit sweet. It's earthy. And a little it's bit chocolate earthy. Yeah. Charred, kind of burnt, intense dark like a wood smoke almost but i think uh, that's what they advertise and that's exactly what you get yeah and i mean if you're looking for a strong cup of coffee look no further especially something that's you know generally found in most convenience stores now you can find death wish in so many places ordered online with relative ease and i mean it's it's not always easy to find robusta uh i've i've learned over here you know in, in the americas and so um, if you just want to try to dip your foot in the deep end a little bit, or, or excuse me, dip your foot in the shallow end a little bit, then I, it's it's not bad. I would actually pick some up and, and drink it. I, I do think the price point, I will say, is a bit much uh, for this bag of coffee, but it's a pretty good bag. So they don't really mention what kind of bean this is, right? They don't mention if it's no. Arabica or anything, right? So they don't ever explicitly state that this is a Robusta. That makes sense because it's like a mysterious, you know, they want yeah, to be mysterious. Like, that's true. How can it possibly be the world's strongest coffee? Surely there's some crazy magic going on. Right, some voodoo, some sorcery. I don't think so, I think it's just Robusta. Right, well, so perhaps it's just Robusta then, so I don't want to claim it absolutely, but it would seem as such if they've said that there is uh, no like artificial additive of caffeine in this coffee, the only conclusion I can think of is that it's just a different bean altogether. Death Wish, overall, not bad. Not bad, it's it's pretty decent, pretty good. Would we give us on the whole brain scale? Um, mm. About like a six, I think a six is where I'd give it. I'd give it like a 7.1. With all these things that are very hyped and well marketed, I have an intrinsic desire to hate on them. I feel that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. Starbucks. I, 
You're even though it's biased. the hate is justified sure in sure. that case but i feel like just based on that i need to be nicer to this coffee than i normally would be i'd give it a seven i think a six six point five somewhere in that range for me would be would be right about where i stand i would like to uh i like this i would also like to see a little more variety too from death which is a company i think i'd really like for them to try sure. to dip their foot in some other ends now that might then be uh what would you say that might then be difficult with them going organic on the bean end to put so much caffeine into their coffee. But I mean, I, I would like to see that from them and I'd ask be willing to give any of their other products a try and a review. So anybody from Death Wish sees this, we're open. We'd love to try anything you guys have to throw at us. And uh, you know, I would love that. to see maybe the world's weakest coffee, True. the world's medium, most medium coffee. Right. So stuff you, like that. So you made the world's strongest coffee. We're going to challenge you to make the world's most impotent weakest coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the most flaccid coffee. The <laughs> Cut. We definitely want to see you try and embrace New Horizons. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you're a Death Wish a representative, feel free to reach out to us. Comment in below. Have you had Death Wish? What do you think of Death Wish? Do you think it's good? Do you think we're full of it? What do you think? Let us know again in the comments below. And as always, please keep using your whole brain. brain.